Hi, this is Dan O'Connor with OnlineCommunicationTraining.com. And this is actually part two of the training lesson where you are going to learn how to respond to the question that you may be asked in an interview or a performance review, which is, can you tell me a little bit about your weaknesses and what you might do to overcome those weaknesses? If you are asked that question, what I'm going to do during this lesson is give you the answer. But if you have not yet seen part one of this, go ahead and click right here, and that'll bring you to the first part of this video. It's a couple of minutes, it'll get you up to speed so that you know exactly why we're going to be learning to say the things we are going to be saying in this video. All right, so you've watched video one. Well, I'm sure you're familiar with the four basic personality types, and mine is the expressive type. That's my working style. So communication skills have always come very easily to me, and I'm a very extroverted person. I find it very easy to make friends and bring people together in a group. That said, because of my natural skill set and my strengths, I have to be sensitive to not be too overbearing when I'm around more introverted people, and I want to make sure to do things such as dot my I's and cross my T's so that little details like that that I would have otherwise forgotten had I not been aware of them don't overshadow my natural strengths, which again are things such as my enthusiasm and my ability to communicate. And then, here is the one-two punch. If the person who's interviewing you says to you, well, what do you do to overcome some of those weaknesses? How do you work on those? What you want to do is say, well, I follow the Strengths Finder philosophy. I'm sure you're familiar with Strengths Finder. And the philosophy there has taught me to instead of focusing on my weaknesses and trying to overcome that and basically make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, focus on my strengths and find workarounds so that I can try to delegate jobs that might require the skills that are not necessarily my strengths, or I would try to find a job that doesn't require me to focus on things that are not my natural strengths, such as this job. This job is perfect for me because from what I can see, all of the requirements are a perfect match for what my natural skill set is based on my personality type. So again, you want to talk about another business reference tool of the day, and that tool is Strengths Finder. It's a great system that is another kind of social style, working style system that helps you discover what your strengths are and focus on those. And then whatever your weaknesses are, you don't focus on those and try to improve on them. You try to delegate those to somebody else, find ways not to have to use those, just try to forget those. Isn't that great? And it's very effective.